Hey and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today we are making these cute little ghosts. And it will be a nice short video. So let's get started. I'm going to open up a new blender file. Okay, let's press A to select all and X to delete. And let's go ahead and add mesh and select a circle. Let's zoom in a bit with your mouse wheel. Tap into edit mode and press F to fill. Now press 1 on your numpad for front view. And let's extrude this on the Z axis. So E and Z. And go somewhere like here. And what I want to do is I want to bevel this. So control B and bevel and scrolling your mouse wheel will add to the selection. So let's do something like this. Okay, now we'll press 3 for face select and select the bottom face. Press X to delete faces. Now press 1 for vertex select and 1 on your numpad for front view again and what I want to do here is select every other two vertices you can do that by box selecting them and by holding shift add to the selection and do that for the entire ghost Okay, press 1 again on your numpad and press G and Z and move this up somewhere like here. Now tap back into object mode and let's shade this smooth. So click your right mouse and shade smooth. Now let's go to the object data properties right here, normals and click auto smooth. Now press Ctrl 2 for subdivision modifier like this and let's go to the modifiers tab and I want to add some thickness to this and to do that I want to add a solidify modifier and I want this modifier to be on top of our subdivision so move this up. And now we can play with the thickness a little bit. And I don't want to go overboard here. So something like this will be fine. And for our subdivision, we can add some. So let's make this four. That should be fine. Yes. Okay, press 1 again on your numpad. Shift right click here. And let's go ahead and add mesh and select a cube. Control 2 again for our subdivision modifier. Shade this smooth. So click right. Shade smooth. And again, let's make this 4 on each. And scale this down with S. And S and Y, so we are scaling on the Y axis like this. And we can add a mirror modifier onto this. So add modifier, find your mirror and mirror object, select our ghost like this. And press seven on your numpad for top view. And select this little transform button right here. So we can rotate this in place. And you can choose any place where you want the eyes to be. Or you can follow me, that's up to you. Just adjust any way that you see fit. 
Okay, press three for side view and adjust here as well. So I'm going with something like this. Now let's duplicate this. So shift D and G and Y to move it on the Y and scale this down. And again, you can go as big or small as you want your eyes to be. Yes, I think this looks fine to me. Okay, let's shift S and cursor to world origin like that. And let's go ahead and add a plane for our background. So something like this. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a camera. So press N and I'm going to add my camera. And here in this little menu, we can change some of the settings. So I want this to be 21 and this 75. And click on the camera and G and Z to move this down like this. And if we go to output properties, we can adjust our resolutions and let's make that a thousand by a thousand and go to the camera and let's adjust the scale something like this will be fine and we need to adjust the background so select the background and press s to scale this up like this now select the ghost and by holding shift, select the eyes. And now we can rotate this on the, the Z axis. So let's go ahead and do that. And maybe move it to the middle a little bit. So G and X. Okay, like this. So adjust as you see fit, as you like it. Okay, I think this will be fine. And let's not forget to save our file. And now we can go ahead and give this some color. So go to the viewport shading right here. Select the background and let's add some color. So go to the material properties and select new. And for base color, I want to go all the way to black and select the ghost. Again, let's add new, but instead of the principle BSDF, let's go ahead with translucent like this. Select the eyes, new, let's make this white with roughness zero and make these black with roughness zero. So they have a nice shine to them. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the world properties and give this some color. So go to hex and press in six, five, three, F86 and that will give it some nice purple color like this. Okay, let's go ahead and add a sunlight. Move this up. So G and Z to move this up. Go to the light properties. Select color. 
and type in F3PC85. And for the strength, I want to go with 1.5 and the angle, let's make that 55. Okay, and I want to rotate this around the cursor. So go to the top and select 3D cursor. So RX45, RZ90, and I want it to the other side, RZ180, like this. Okay, and we can now go ahead and go click ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflection refraction and all the way down let's go with high contrast for render i want to go with cycles so select cycles make sure you click denoise and go to the last viewport shading right here. Okay, this doesn't look very good yet. So let's go ahead and add some more lights. Add an area light. GZ to move this up. Go to the light properties. And let's make this one white with a strength of 250 shape will be disc and size will be about four okay let's rotate this so r x 45 r z 45 and duplicate this so shift d RZ180 for the other side. Okay. Now I think for the backlight, I want the same color as the sunlight. So let's change that. And that number was F3BC85. And I think this looks much better. Okay, now what we can do is mm, duplicate this so we can have the little ghost right here. So shift click the ghost and the eyes and shift D and Z to duplicate this. Move this a little bit and S to scale. And we are scaling on the 3D cursor because we haven't changed this yet, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Medium point. Let's scale this. GZ. And you can rotate this a little bit if you like. Something like this. And there you have it. All you have to do now is click render, render image, and you're done. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you do, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.